All right, so what I have here is a DSi XL I bought from JA Pan. Um, it did come with a battery cover. I just had it off because it didn't have battery in it. Anyway, uh, I was hoping it would work, even despite the broken hinge. I was going to make a Game Boy Macro, uh, but it gets no power whatsoever. I don't even get a blinking power light, so take it apart, see if I can't get it fixed. Uh, I'm hoping, if nothing else, I can at least salvage this top screen for my other DSi XL and, I don't know, figure something else out from there. But, uh, yeah, let's get cracking. I have another DSi XL that I actually already have disassembled. Um, it works perfectly fine except for the cracked top screen. So we'll use that one for testing, see if we can't narrow down the issue. Oh, and of course, it's missing one. So all these screws in here are just JIS J triple zero screws. You can get them out with a Phillips driver in the right size, but you'll have to go slow because the Phillips driver will cam out and threaten to strip those. But yeah. J triple zero. All right. With all those screws out, I don't think this had an SD card. No. This should pop off. And the water damage sticker or the water indicator has been tripped on this. So, oh, that's interesting. Those weren't even connected. So I'm probably not even the first person to get all up in here. Oh, hey, I didn't even notice that. That might be why it doesn't work. The uh, battery connector is all mashed up. So it might work fine. It's just not making contact with the battery. Still nothing. Okay. Let's try it might be this board too, because that wire was uh crushed. Before we go anywhere, let's test this fuse. So this fuse is definitely bad. That could also be why it's not working. I'll just swap out the whole board because that's easier than swapping out a fuse right now. Seeing as I have a perfectly working board.
Still nothing. Well, shoot. Hopefully I didn't just blow up this good board too. Yep, I did. So there's a problem with this. Now I gotta replace two fuses. I better do that now. Oh, that's a super bad idea. Never mind. I don't have fuses handy, so I'm not gonna just bridge that. Oh. Man. I should have looked at this thing more closely. That might be why it doesn't work. There's a big old bridge on the backlight connector. <sighs> what the frick was this person doing? <laughs> I don't see any other issues on it. But it looks like they went in here to replace a fuse, maybe? Probably, and that thing is just covered in solder. Turn that on. I'm going to pause for a second, go find some fuses. I'll be right back. You know, I just remembered I set up my uh, hearts thingy here, so I have fuses right here. Didn't actually have to go far. All right. I think it's this fuse. No. These are only 500 milliamps. Fuse for this thing is probably a lot closer to um, triple that. That's a quarter amp. It's three quarter amp. Well, that's the closest we're going to get. setting this over here to keep an eye on it. Just trying to do a battery rundown test. And the value is only important if I actually know when it shuts off. So this connector right here that I'm trying to pull extra solder off, this is the uh, backlight connector for the lower LCD. So I guess it makes sense that the fuse would be blown if there's just a dead short across it. <laughs> Let's get some fresh. Braid. Well, that's going to be annoying to clean up.
Oh yeah, that's how you know it's working if it sounds like bacon. Beautiful. Now, chances are pretty good that fuse is bad too, but we don't really care so much about this fuse because this is just the charging fuse. Oh no, fuse is actually fine. I wonder what the hell they were doing up here anyway. Let's see if there's a short across this. And there is not. Should be on those ones, yep. Cool. I guess let's pop a new fuse in this bad boy and see if it works. Or let's see if there's a short on that. There shouldn't be. Okay. Just trying to clean up that nasty soldering. I don't know, maybe they popped a new port in this thing or something. I'm guessing so, since it's crooked. Not actually soldered down on this side. God, that's terrible. This is why I hate getting things that someone else has already worked on first. Okay. Well, let's do the fuse first and I'll clean that in a bit. Alright, so the easiest way to remove one of these just do that. Then I'll clean off the iron and let that just exist in my brass sponge until the end of time. Okay. What do I do with my new fuses? There they are. Oh shit, these are the wrong size too. These are stupid small. These are 0402. I think I bought these for my Switch Joy-Con after I accidentally blew one of those fuses up. But I never got around to installing it. Um... What I actually did was I just installed some bodge wires and then a bigger fuse. And it still works fine, so. And it has a fuse. Where did that go? Okay. And like usual, you've probably read somewhere, oh, you could just throw a solder bridge over the fuse instead of replacing it. And, well, yeah, that will work if the fault is cleared. But if I had just done that to this first board instead of trying a board with a new fuse, I would have blown up the CPU on the... Uh, on the DS because there was still that short on the backlight. So yeah, bridging a fuse is never a good idea. Fuses are safety devices. They're designed to blow up so that you don't blow up the things you can't replace. There we go, I think. All right. It's not small enough, is it? Let's double check that it's all good. So, move the meter so you can actually see it. 
and all is well. Let me double check that this wire isn't broken. Because it might be. I don't know if my meter actually fits in that though. Or my uh, probe. Oh, it does. And it's fine. Let's try the other one. Also fine. Okay. I'll do the other board in a bit. Let's see if that fixes it first. It still needs a new battery connector, but that's a thing for another time. Let's see if it works. Oh, hey! I accidentally just stuck a magnet to the top screen, but... Huh? Huh? Hey, like that. Everything works, except that the hinge is broken. I think everything works. I don't know. I don't have the shoulder buttons attached or anything. See if the cameras work. Yeah. I'd say it works. How do we flip this around? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to shut it off. Okay, so now that I know this works, I'm not going to continue fussing with it too much because the hinge is obviously broken. Um, I will go ahead and replace the fuse on that other board that I just blew up. And then I'm probably going to end up putting the top screen for this thing into this console because this LCD is broken. Let me kill that. I don't know. Probably can't see it unless I turn it on. But it is cracked. You'll have to trust me on that. I think I've shown this in my other DSi video. Uh, but I am going to go ahead and pause for a few minutes. Um, clean up my workspace because i got a bunch of little copper shards everywhere from when I trimmed my uh, braid. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a wee bit. Alright, so we are in the final stretch, I hope. I'm going to get a little bit of tape here and uh, hopefully save myself some pain and suffering by taping these speakers down. And that's that's just so that while I'm handling this it doesn't I don't get my speakers everywhere. Okay. So now I need to put this back in here, which in theory is going to be a lot easier than uh, removing it. Or at least than it was to put it in the top half of the shell. Don't get me wrong, easier does not mean easy. Oh, here we go. Okay, now that wasn't actually wasn't too bad. It'd be nice to know why that's not popping in place though.
There it goes. I guess I just had to force it. Quick, put in all the screws before something falls out of place. I'm going to wait to put the uh, screw covers back though, just in case. Because otherwise I'll get it all together and go, oh hey, what's this extra part? Took a couple minutes while it was apart to uh, try and clean everything. Not like deep clean or anything, but just all the big pieces of gunk. Oh, duh. All right, those go, I don't know how these go. Do these go probably this way. And there was a black thing somewhere. There it is. Ooh, getting close. Man, wouldn't it suck to jinx myself by saying uh, it would suck if I uh, ripped if I broke this ribbon this far in? But I'm not getting it in. There it goes. I think. Okay. The screen was just wrapped around something, no big deal. Where'd my pokey thing go? 
I don't know, but I found another one. I should have installed the other motherboard. I like that one better. Oh well, they should both work fine. Hopefully. Besides, I gotta install custom firmware on this and then swap out the boards anyway. Because I think you need both screens to install custom firmware. And I only have one working top screen anyway. Unless I start getting DSi parts mixed in with these. Which, according to my last video, is a thing, so... I think... If I can trust anyone's word on it, I can trust my own word. I just realized that light wasn't on, that's why I'm having a hard time seeing this stuff. That's better. Okay. That's already connected, that's already connected. Connect to that. I don't think that's the right connector, by the way. I mean, it's like the correct connector as in it, it's the same plug, but I think that's for uh, 2DS. Oh wait, no, that's right. There's just a bunch of lifted pads. Yeah, that's bad. When I swap this board out, I'm going to have to swap this charge port out because I really don't think this charge port works. Um, what am I looking for? Wi-Fi module. That's it. There's there. Two more things to plug in, and then we can plug in the shoulder buttons in the SD card slot and test it out. Though I have a feeling I should skip those and just try the uh, battery first. Yeah, let's try the battery first. Oh no, is this thing broken? Oh my god, it is. How did that happen? Wow. Okay, so I might be swapping the board out already. So, take a look at this thing. You can see on this side... Oh! Wow. Okay, I just apparently had to delicately touch it and then everything would pop back into place. What the hell? I don't even know. <laughs> oh, it's not inserted all the way. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right.
I think I just blew a fuse because that was upside down. Indeed I did. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. It never ends. Whatever, at least I don't have to take the whole board out. Just this subboard. Oops. Good thing I already replaced the fuse on the other one. I think just now I have blown more fuses in this video than ever before, than I've ever blown. I'm usually really good at not blowing fuses up. And I'm already two for two. I am, instead of connecting this upside down again by accident. I'm just going to put the bottom on. Probably for the best. <laughs> I almost did it again. Good thing I put the bottom on. Oh yeah! So the uh, color temperature on these two screens is different. Pretty sure I can adjust that by just filling with these two uh, trim pots. But I'm not going to bother because this PCB that's in here right now is not going to live in here. Um, this one is. The one that's in here currently is just getting custom firmware and then I'm going to swap it out and make a macro from it. But out of curiosity, uh, we're on 1.45J and whatever note this says, it is now public to the whole world. Smile for the camera. Oops. Well, at least that works. I don't know how to flip it around. I think it's... No, that just hides it. I don't know. I've never... Oh, there we go. No, I was flipping it. I just wasn't paying attention. Ta-da! There's my SP that shut off when I wasn't paying attention. Cool. Let's go ahead and put the rest of the screws back in. That's all right. Why is that screw stripped? these screws instead. So that one's stripped.
nice, nice, and nice. So now I just need to physically clean this thing. Uh, the outside, at least. I think I've done a pretty decent job on the inside. Put these screw covers back on. Thing is all done. Twice now. Almost put that in upside down. I don't know why my first instinct with these batteries is to put them upside down. All right, now I got to swap this out. Probably would have been easier to do that before putting everything together. I have no idea how to get this out now. I think I'll need like a suction cup. So I'll have to go find one. Um, I'll do that later. The phone battery is pretty much dead anyway, so I call that a success. I'll go ahead and go, I'll do custom, I'll custom firmware this thing up and I'll swap out the motherboard and uh, well, I guess I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.